Okay, peace in to begin. Uh, I'm at a phase where I'm experimenting uh, with putting graffiti on the train. I just wanted to show it to you. First thing I'm going to do is duplicate this. And bring it up. Yeah, and then I'll ungroup it and show you what we did. Okay, so again, just like when you saw the Lamborghini video, just to show, point out that it all started by making a box, making a mold of this train and put it in a box and then putting the graffiti elements inside the box and then when you group it you know you should have uh, the colors you want so let's bring this over and play around with the dimensions Whoops, kind of lost targeting on there. Okay. So we're going to have to bring it out. Okay. Let's see what we got on this side. Okay, nothing. So again, you have to play the little smidgen game so let's see 32 point 15 let's go 15 see if that brings it out okay that brings it out somewhat but let's go a little bit more let's go one more smidgen okay 32 20 okay let's see if we can get a little bit more out Thirty-two thirty. Okay. Now on this side, we're gonna have to try to get this. Okay. Let's go a smidgen here. Let's go thirty-two forty. Nope. Thirty-two. Not quite. Now another thing we can do is just make a hole of both of them and then stuff it right in perfectly. But we're going to try to do this because if you want to paint it, this little bit of edge that's showing out, then you can paint it a little bit better. Won't look as realistic in some ways, but... For a younger kid, it might be better than if they were going to try to paint it. Let's see. Huh. Maybe we are going to have to make that hole. I don't know. See what happens when we pull that out all the way over there. That's actually what we want visually. Tell you what, here's what we'll do. Make a duplicate. Oh, now lag is coming in. All right. Forget that. What we want to do is make a duplicate, a complete duplicate of the train and the logo. Okay. And then, making a hole right here. Then we're making a duplicate. Bring that over here. Okay. Uh, oh man, there's so much lag now. It, you know, it, the buttons are overreacting. Okay. Anyway, so what we do is we turn the graffiti logo into a hole, and we group it. 
and we wait <laughs> forever for this thing to render. So what happens now is we'll take this duplicate, put it in the direct the exact dimensions of the train, and we'll see if the result is better than if we have a little bit of overlap. Now for the sake of painting this train, if you were to 3D print this train, it might be kind of a cool thing to have this overlap, this little bit that's printed out because it'll be an exact template for kids to, uh, to follow. Let's see. See, I'm pushing the button and trying to get it over. Oh, and believe me, it's just like pulling teeth out of an alligator. The lag is intense. Let's see what the dimensions of the train are again. Thirty-two. Okay. So we're gonna make the graffiti an exact thirty-two and see what happens. It's at thirty-six. Huh? That's not bad. Let's pull that out and get a better look. There's so much going on here. Okay. Okay, done deal. That'll work. So this was the better route to go for just graphically speaking. Um, this one will be easier maybe for younger kids to paint on because they'll have the exact, there's a little bit of edge on it so they can paint that exactly as it is. And this one, you'd have to do a paint job and be a good painter. All right, there it is. Hope that was helpful. That's how it's done. I will make a part two to this video because what I'm going to do is show you how to make a really cool presentation of this. All right. Peace out without a doubt. Next time.